was close. So, if these are five long, then the white ones are one long. And we're going to use these for some elapsed time problems. And what you see here, this is going to be our timeline. So you've used number lines to do elapsed time before, right? So this one, it's going to be very similar. I'm just going to point a few things out to you. See these orange dots already on here? Put as many of the yellow, cube, the yellow rods as you can between the first two orange dots. And for yours, you can actually connect them together. And I think we can. Yeah. Turn it like this. There you go. So you should be able to do it just like so. No. These are usually what I use to, uh, for um, younger kids, but I didn't have enough of the other kinds, so. But they're kind of fun. So how many of the uh, yellow rods fit between the two orange dots? Yes, ma'am. Three. Three. So how long do you think it is between these first two orange dots? If this is five long, and there are three of them, it's? Fifteen. Fifteen. So we're doing timelines, right? So. Every 15 minutes, there's an orange dot. So that's just a little trick to help you. It makes it so you don't have to count every single one. So we're going to do the first problem in your packet. Uh, and it's Jamal makes macaroni and cheese. So Jamal makes macaroni and cheese. He begins making it at 6.05 p.m. and finishes at 6.40. How long does it take him to make his food? So we're going to use this problem so I can show you how to use this number line. Come on in. Just in time. So I want you to use your dry erase marker and at this very first yellow or orange dot, I'm going to mark it. I'm going to put 6 p.m. because it's right on one of those orange dots. So I want to do like six, six, all the quarter hours. So this is six o'clock. What do you think this one's going to be? Seven. It's 15 minutes later. Oh, 6.15. 6.15. All right. So this makes this one... 6.30. I'll take whispers. And the next one's... Good. 6.45. You took me at my word. <laughs> and we'll do one more. What's, the la what's this next one after 6.45? Seven o'clock. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, for now you can. You're going to use them here in a second. Though. So you should have every 15 minute mark just for now. So thumbs up if you're where I am and you have marked from six to seven every 15 minutes. Awesome. awesome. And if you just came in, it's okay if you're catching up. All right, so what time, uh, if we go back to our problem, we know that he starts making at 6.05 p.m. and he ends at 6.40 p.m. So what I want to do is I want to figure out where 6.05 is on this timeline and just mark that. Some of you figured out you can just count by fives. Some of you may figure out if I use my yellow rod, I don't have to count the ones, and I can just do like this. And if you're really savvy, you might use a shortcut like that to do 640. Did you just count by ones or did you use a rod or either way works? You just knew. It would be right in the middle of six. Is it right in the middle? Let's use a let's use the orange rods to check. So if we want to get 640 on here and we want to use the orange or yellow rods, what's an easy way to figure it out? 
the rod down at the first like part? Uh, which one, 6.30 or 6.45? Because we know it's between that. 6.30. Okay. Yeah. So that would be 6.35. And then you see where the rod ends, and then you put a line, and then you put the top. Or at 6.35, we need to get 6.40. So we need not just one of these yellow rods, but two. two. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I think you're right. That's 6.40. Mm -hmm. And then 6.05. And some of you may have figured out that you can also just go the other end and put one that way. Which may have been what you were trying to tell me. Okay. And I'm just going to mark these because it's easy for me. Now, I know some of you can probably figure this out without putting the rods down. But just for this problem, I want you to try it out. Go ahead and put as many of the yellow rods between the start and the finish, between 605 and 640, as you can. Uh, well, you can use the yellow rods. You can also use the white rods if you want. Whatever you think is going to make the most sense for you. I might have to use some white rods here. How many, uh, oh, I want to make sure everyone's finished yet. There we go. So how many yellow rods were you able to fit between 605 and 640? Yes, ma'am. Eight? Okay, let's double check. Count it again. Oh, seven. Seven. Okay, so there's seven yellow rods or between 605 and 640. So how many minutes pass between 605 and 640? 35. 35 minutes. So there you go. Does everyone see how that worked? Everyone understand how to use this tool now? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So go ahead and try to use this tool on the task number two.